Hello, Homestead. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Welcome back, Homestead. It's Friday, January 11th, and time for the semester's first episode of HHS In-Depth. I'm Ellie Davis. And I'm Jessica Walter. Welcome to another edition of the show. On today's episode, you'll see an interview with Principal Dr. Ginder, as Jessica recently sat down with him to get his thoughts on the new semester here at Homestead. We'll bring you a story over Homestead's award-winning radio and TV program and see how you can get involved. You'll learn about how our business classes can make you successful. Carson takes a look at our girls swim and dive team in this week's The Countdown. And there will be an all new two and a half weathermen with Alex and Ethan. We'll bring you all of those stories and much more, so stay tuned for today's episode of HHS In Depth. today's show with a sit down with Principal Dr. Ginder. Recently, Jessica Walter caught up with Dr. Ginder to get his thoughts on the new semester here at Homestead. As each school year progresses, new things come along with the second semester, including sports, clubs, and fun events for students to look forward to. I really enjoy the second semester because the days are getting longer, the weather's changing, and at the same time, we've got things like Just Because Week, Notorious Netters, um, Taste of Homestead, which has become a huge event for our school. More academic competitions, robotics gets flowing, e-cart uh, competitions for our students and those things. And let's get out and support the Spartans. We were going to have kids playing basketball. We're going to have wrestling. Uh, gymnastics is going to get started. We've got things to do, places to go, and people to see. One of the biggest changes coming this semester is the addition of another flex day this spring. Remember, we're going to have a flex day in the spring, too, March 15th. So that's new to us. We've only ever had flex days in the fall. As the school year has met its halfway point, Dr. Ginder wants to remind students to stay focused and put forth their best effort until the end. As we move through the school year, we've got to invest ourselves differently in the academic piece. Your teachers are giving everything. I think it's important for some of us to step up and do the same thing. Dr. Ginder has high hopes for a strong second semester filled with academics and activities. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Jessica Walton. Calling all environmental club members. Dare to be a force of nature and get out to Homestead's next environmental club meeting on Monday in Mrs. Merkling's room, room 206. Bring a friend and don't miss out on the first meeting of the semester. Never been a member before? It is not too late to join. So head out there on Monday at 245 in room 206. Attention all network members or anyone who is looking to join a positive and uplifting club. Stop by Mrs. Jones Room, Room 104, next Monday, January 14th, after school for the first meeting of the new semester. There is no better time to join this student-run and community-centered club. They hope to see you there. Biomedical Science Club members, the next meeting will be held on Wednesday, January 16th, after school in Room 215. They will host Brian Stockman, who is a physical therapist. The meeting will end at 3.30 and snacks will be provided. Intramural basketball is once again being hosted by the Jorgensen Y. The cost is $35 per person for a guaranteed six games, which will be played on weeknights. Team shirts are provided. Packets are available in the discipline office and are due back by January 18th. If you have any questions, please contact Matt Lindelin at the Y. Are you taking the SAT or ACT soon and want to increase your score? 
The SAT ACT prep class will begin a new session on Tuesday, January 22nd for math and Wednesday, January 23rd for verbal. Classes run for six weeks from 5.30 to 7.30 in the evening. Sign up for one or both sessions. You will receive the College Board SAT book with your registration. Sign up forms can be found in Student Services or in Mr. Staley's room in room 517. A new option exists for the math session only. You can now join the live class from home so you don't have to be in the room. Juniors and seniors, Dirty Duckers and Notorious Netters is coming in February, so get your teams together now. Team packets will be available in Mrs. Moss's room 723 beginning Monday. You will only need one packet per team. All packets are due January 23rd and no late entries will be accepted. And now here's reporter Derek Hockemeyer with a story over Homestead's award-winning radio and TV program, where you'll learn about the programs and how you can get involved. Homestead's broadcasting program hits several different aspects of the media field, including live radio, television, and sports broadcasting. Mr. Schenkel, the head of television broadcasting, and Mr. Dunn, the head of the radio program, work together to provide students with the skills that they can take with them into their future. The unique thing about the broadcasting courses at Homestead High School is that we gear them every year differently than years past. So students who take the same class multiple years will actually you know, learn things over time um, by taking those classes in multiple years. It's not the same thing just over and over. HHS In Depth, the class that makes a new show here, is really geared for students that are interested in learning how to do news reports and, and things like that. And they do use Homestead as the basis of that news, but from what I've heard from students who've moved on to college and in the professional world, they get so much emphasis into those things that they learned in high school that they took to the real world that helps them in the long run. Aside from video, Homestead's radio courses focus on audio production. The radio class focuses on a lot of on-air live radio shows for the entire city of Fort Wayne. We broadcast live on 91.1 FM. Being on air gives them real life experience. We also focus a lot on in-studio production work. Any student that is interested in taking the radio classes will need to take the intro level class beforehand. There's a lot of learning before entering the radio program. Students learn the basic skills needed in higher level courses in the prerequisite course, Intro to Radio TV. If there's any kind of interest you do have in broadcasting, we do encourage you to sign up for the intro class. You'll learn both the audio and video side of it. We're providing the foundation for you to learn everything from the ground up. And of course, anything that you do learn here, you'll be able to take to college and in the professional world and I think give you an advantage over most of those students. Even if you don't think what we're offering you is geared towards what you want to learn, no matter what, uh, you will get a lot of resources from that and there's a lot of stuff available here at Homestead in terms of technology that you may not have that's going to help you in the long run as well. So remember, sign up for Intro to Radio TV in order to take the variety of classes offered in the broadcasting program. Why not explore a field you don't know much about? Your interest may be sparked or at the very least you'll have fun trying something new. For HHS In Depth, I'm Derek Hockemeyer. Bio Olympiad Club will meet today after school in Mrs. Vale's room 213. If you're interested in learning more about biology, come see what they're all about. Softball players. Softball Open Gym has begun and is scheduled for January 15th, 17th, and the 22nd in the deck in the large gym. Pick up a complete schedule in the athletic office or at one of the Open Gym dates. Please contact Coach Clagg with any questions. Girls or boys interested in track and field need to attend the mandatory call-out meeting taking place at Homestead next week. For girls, the meeting is on Tuesday, January 15th at 2.45 in room 420, and for boys, the meeting is on Wednesday, January 16th at 2.50 in the community room. All athletes must have a completed physical on file with the athletic office in order to participate in preseason conditioning. Girls see Mrs. Tiernan and Mrs. Wiss, and boys see Mr. Livensparger, Mr. Dillman, or Mr. Gale if you have any questions. And now it's time for the weekend weather forecast. Here's an all-new Two and a Half Weatherman with Alex and Ethan. Going on you with the pick and roll. Young the flame here in sickle mode. Hello, Homestead. New year, new, new weatherman. weatherman. Here we have Mike Wazowski from the hit movie. Mike had a great idea. We're going to have a cancelometer this semester. And what our cancelometer is, it's going to show you the time for a delay and if there's going to be one on the upcoming Monday. So, if that's not right, you can blame Mikey here. So, with that out of the way, let's get right into the weather. Today we will have mostly cloudy skies with a high temp of 33 and a low of 26. Saturday we're going to have snow showers with a high of 31 and a low of 24. And finally on Sunday it will be partly cloudy with a high of 32 and a low of 18. Cancelometer showing a clean 0% for next week, so make sure you get all your work done for Monday. 
Well, Homestead, that was your weekend weather forecast. Our quote of the week comes from Oprah, who once said, Oh my, 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 these burgers blended with black truffles are so good. Add dabs of truffle saturated mustard or ketchup, and your grill game will never be the same. Well, we'll see you next week, Homestead. I've been Ethan Turner. And I'm Alex Peters. See you next week. Do you want to be rich and successful once you leave Homestead? If so, then you need to watch this promo for Homestead's business classes. Hey there, I'm Bill Jobs. You might be wondering how I got this gorgeous mansion. Well, it's all thanks to Homestead Business Classes. Before Homestead Business Classes, I didn't know what to do with my life and had no aspirations. After Homestead Business Classes, I decided to become an entrepreneur and became wildly successful. Statistics show, if you don't take Homestead High School Business Classes, your success rates will be all the way down here. But if you do take Business Classes, your success rates will be all the way up here. So now you know. The only thing you need to be successful in life is to take Homestead High School business classes. And remember, personal finance is necessary. Make sure to talk to your counselors at your next scheduling meeting about taking business classes. And now let's go over to the sports set as Carson Clymer is in with another edition of The Countdown. This week he profiles our girls swim and dive team. Hello Homestead and welcome into the first edition of The Countdown of second semester. This week we headed over to Summit Natatorium to get caught up with the girls swim and dive teams. The girls swimming and diving team is continuing their recent success this year, winning many invites so far this season. The season's been going really well so far. So far we've won every meet, or at least on the girls' side, and we've made a lot of good progress so far. The season's been good because I've gotten a lot closer with the teammates, and definitely the younger ones I've gotten closer with, and the guys' team I've gotten to bond with a little bit more, so it's been really nice to get to meet new friends and just have a close bond with the teammates. Coming into this season, the girls have placed high expectations to achieve before the end of the year. Definitely to get at least top five at state and to win sectionals, of course. Also, just to become a better team itself and be really positive and motivating. I definitely feel like the girls have higher expectations this year than last year because we have a lot more well-rounded swimmers and so we are supposed to put up some high points and just have really good swims and we're expected to have a lot. The swimmers and divers have enjoyed the bonding time that they have been able to have so far this season. My favorite part of the season so far is having a great time on the bus and making memes and just bonding with everyone. Season has definitely been the blue gold meet because we came out with a dub and that was really nice to have for my senior year. Each of the swimmers and divers have high goals to achieve before the end of the season. And some of my goals are to possibly go to state for the 100 backstroke and be on the state team. Individually, I would like to be swimming individually at state as well as um, medley relay placing top eight. Good luck to the girls swimming and diving team with the rest of their year. We want to congratulate Coach Chris Johnson on winning his 400th career game as a high school basketball coach earlier this week when our boys basketball team took down number one ranked Blackhawk Christian. Good luck to both the boys and girls basketball teams as they take on Snyder tonight in an SAC doubleheader. And the boys are also in action tomorrow against East Noble. Finally, good luck to all the wrestlers as they compete at Concordia tomorrow. That'll do it for this week's edition of The Countdown. Join me next week when we profile our number two ranked girls basketball team. I'm Carson Clymer. Have a great weekend. Well, that wraps up this edition of HHS In Depth. I'm Ellie Davis. And I'm Jessica Walter. Thank you for watching today. Today, we leave you with a song exclusive to our radio station, The Point 91 FM. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you right back here next week.